Hi everybody, it's Blood and Plunder Week here on BeastsOfWar.com and we have three fantastic mega bundles up for grabs. These include the rulebook, two nation packs of your choice, and the cards that you're going to need to get you and a friend into the game. For your chance to win, get your comments in on any of the Blood and Plunder content this week on Beasts of War, Facebook or YouTube. Winners are announced in an upcoming weekender, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, we are back for more Blood and Plunder. I have the guys from Firelock Games and today Mike and John are going to be playing some of the sea battles. So, uh, we've seen how the game works on land, we've seen how it works whenever a ship's coming into port and trying to actually break in and do a bit of a beachhead. Now we're going to see what happens whenever two ships meet each other on the open ocean. So, uh, guys, who do we have playing on the tabletop today? Which factions? So I've got Spanish Guarda Costa, who are Spanish privateers hired to defend the coast. Although, they, everybody who's not Spanish is basically... Um, trespassing so that basically means I can attack anyone and um, I've got two units of trained uh, milicianos mm -hmm. um, the my special rule for this force means that if they're trained anybody who's trained ignores the poorly equipped special rule so that's ah. handy um, so I've got a unit of nine and a unit of five here I've got seven lanceros here to operate the rear guns and then I've got nine um, marineros to operate these cannons here in the center and help uh, sailing the ship mm -hmm. And John, did oh, you have? And I've got a brigantine, by the way. So my ship is a brigantine. Oh, right. Okay. All right. So my crew has a sloop. And right now I'm playing one of the new factions. It's English Pirate Hunters. So everybody in my force has hard chargers. Mm -hmm. And I have two eight-man English militia units. They're going to be trained. I have an English Pirate Hunter captain. He's experienced. Freebooters and sea ducks. And I have all light cannons on my ship. Mm -hmm. And as do I. Right, now, uh, important question. Mm -hmm. Slip to Brigantine. Are there any major differences between the two we need to worry about for this game? So, the major differences between the two is this, the Brigantine is a little bit larger, which mm -hmm. in this game is not going to make a difference, it just affects how I can have my unit set up. Mm -hmm. um, now, the biggest difference is the sail settings and the windward ability and the turn rating. Mm -hmm. So, the sloop's going to turn a little tighter than my Brigantine will, and it'll also sail better against the wind, which is convenient since right now I've got the weather gauge on John. The wind's coming from my edge of the table, as we see on our Spanish flag over yep. there and the other flags here. So the wind's coming down this way. So the sloop has no penalty sailing upwind. And when you're sailing upwind is when the bow of the ship is closer to the edge of the table that the wind is coming from than the stern of the ship, which is the rear. Uh -huh. So I'm sailing downwind, John's sailing upwind. So for him to get to me, he's going to have to be crossing the wind, which you can't sail directly into. So it's going to be a challenge if he wants to come and board me, which I want to prevent him from doing since I know those English pirate hunters all have hard charges, which is going to give him a bonus to charge. Mm. All right, and then you're going to be tracking everything, as far as I can tell, on the, the ship cards, yes? Yep. So you should we... quickly run us through yeah, what sure, we're seeing do that. on these? So this up here is the point value. Then we've got the top speed. That's the, that's the fastest you can move the ship. If you're ever forced to move faster, you could damage your rigging. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've got the windward ability. So that's, again, that's if I'm sailing, if my bow was pointed closer to this table edge over mm -hmm. here, I, that would affect me. So I'd have a negative one inch um, penalty on my speed. Mm -hmm. My turn rate is three inches, so I can use three inches of my move on turning. Mm -hmm. My draft is six, which thankfully is a very deep cove, so we won't worry about draft so much right now. Uh -huh. And size is three, that's just how many sections it has. So then finally move over here. Okay, uh, just hang on. Oh, sorry. Okay. Keep it in shot. Yep, yeah, yep, <laughs> sorry about that. So um, the numbers that you see inside the little bubbles there, that mm -hmm. represents the fortitude. Um, so the fortitude is basically a, uh, a penalty to hit the ship. Mm -hmm. So you're going to add the range penalty combined with the fortitude of the structure you're firing at with cannons. Mm -hmm. And that's what your target number will be. Mm -hmm. So as the ship takes damage, you'll see that that number will start to go down. So it becomes okay. easier to damage. And then we've got the critical hits that can happen on those. And down here we have our sail settings mm -hmm. and special rules, which we'll get into if we need to. Mm. And is that everything? That's just about it, yeah. Okay, well, uh, take your card back. Uh, mm -hmm. I assume the activations work the exact same as we saw in the, the sea to land battle, yeah? Yep, exactly the same. No difference. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get stuck straight in then, gents. All right, so. You ready? In the middle. Yep. Let's and do. put them on in. All right. Club. Yeah. Yep. All right. I did not want to go first, but mm -hmm. okay. Should have, maybe should have ditched my hand, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll deal with it. So I'll put that over here. Mm -hmm. So ships have to move three times every turn during your first activation, during your last activation, and any time in the middle. So 
I've got four units, so I'm going to have to move one right now, and then anytime the next two activations, I can move again. Mm. So I'm just going to move straight forward, and I'm going to measure from the little skids on the side here. So I'm going to move to the back one there. Okay, so four inches is my sail setting right now, so I have to move the whole thing. Can't move less. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, that does get me just inside of cannon range there. The, the, the arc of my cannons is the width of the deck. Mm hmm so just just barely hitting that yeah, you're front gonna be on the there. rear deck i think i can just barely hit the front but i think i'm gonna wait mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do instead is i'm gonna use my musketeers in the front and see if i can't hurt his rigging with my muskets which is an option ah so i'll need tens to hit because i have to apply the fortitude of the rigging mm -hmm. but my the range is within 24 so i can hit him so i've got nine guys in there so you've switched to the black dice. Yes, the black <laughs> dice are now in my control. So it's not going to do any, any good. So that should help me. So I need 10s. Now, because muskets firing the rigging is difficult, every two hits is going to count as one point of damage to his rigging. Mm -hmm. All right. So I got no 10s at all. So that's unfortunate. Are you going to fortune point? Nah, that's fine. I was just hoping to maybe get a lucky shot and mm. give him uh, some difficulty to attack or something like that. So... Mm. Um, so that's going to be two reload markers, but I'm going to spend one of my additional extra action there to bring it down to one. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. so over to you, John. All right, so I got a club. I'm going to get the turning template. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. So I'm just going to go forward three, mm -hmm. and I'm going to turn one. Now I'm in line there to shoot at his brigantine. Mm -hmm. So let's see the distance. So it is just over 16, so it's going to be plus 4, and I'm going to be shooting at his middle deck. Mm -hmm. If you got the arc, let's see, do you? Uh, I think you got to shoot my rear deck there. Rear deck? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, still good. So I'll shoot the rear. That's fine. Okay. All right, so I got three shots with my <coughs> light cannons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the range penalty was 4. His my fortitude is 4. Fortitude is 4, so I need 8s. And I got one. You got one hit. So, now that he's got an initial hit, you always roll one per cannon. He's got three cannons on that side. So now that he's got an initial hit, he's going to roll to see what kind of damage the cannon does. So he's got a chance once it penetrates to do more damage. So he's going to roll two more dice looking for the same target number. Okay. Hits again, and no, just so one. So just one hit. So I've got two units back here, and I'm going to give it to the, I'm going to give the hit to the Lanceros since they have a better save. And they're on that side, so it kind of makes sense. So their save is normally a 6, but the uh, ship will give me a bonus, so I'm saving on a 5. No, doesn't work. Alright, so one Lancero drops, it takes a cannonball to the face. Mm -hmm. I've got to take a resolve test now with two dice. Alright, and I'm good. So their resolve is 5, got nice. set in a 5, so no worries on that one. Okay. Alright, so we're on to the next card then. Mm -hmm. Well, one second. So right now, my oh, cannon's my shot. So... I'm going to have to end up taking four reloads, and this is this side of the ship. Mm -hmm. Four reloads on each cannon. And I still have two more actions, so I'm actually going to take away two reloads from each. So now I only need two actions before I can shoot again. I see. And so this is because each cannon is fully crewed. The guys are all able to use the same action to reload all the cannons at the same time, yeah? Correct, right. Okay. I also rushed through that a little bit, so... I forgot to explain that. So he did get me for one point of damage, so I will mark one bubble there you go. on my hole right there. Uh -huh. So that's one point of damage. So he's on his way down to drop me to three. Yeah. So anytime a, se a section gets hit by cannon fire, it, not only does the ship take damage, but the guys in the deck have a chance of getting hit as well. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. All right, so let's move on to the next card. Yep. New card? Yep. So. so right next to the front of the boat, please. All right, so 13 diamonds. Yep, so I've got a spade. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move. I think I'm going to move again. So let's see if I can't get a little closer, maybe. If I... That's probably going to put me at an odd angle. So I'll just move straight forward to three. And can you accidentally beat yourself? Yes, you don't want to do that. So if you run into terrain, you will, you will ram. And something like this will, will definitely get you stuck. So you don't want to have, you don't want to have that happen. So... And I'm just going to do the four. I'm just going to go straight forward. Okay. So, so now I've got a good clean shot there on his, on his four deck. 
-hmm. right there I should be good and let's see if my rear deck I've got cannons back there underneath so do I have an angle there let's see yeah just barely on the rear so so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna activate my commander my commander's got the broadside special rule mm -hmm. which means if I fire cannons in different sections you using the commander's points he can um, they're all they're all gonna apply at the same time which makes it more likely for me to get a critical hit so I've got two cannons in the rear so I'm gonna use spend a command point to fire with them Mm -hmm. And with my second command point, I'm going to have the Lanceros fire the other two cannons. Mm -hmm. So that's four dice. And the range for the two front ones is under 16. Just barely. And the rear ones will probably be over 16. But let's double check that. Yep. Damaging the rigging here. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Over 16, under 20. So, I'll fire them... Let me borrow one of your white dice. Yeah, thank you. So the white will be for the rear. The black will be for the front. Mm -hmm. So um, his fortitude is a four. My range penalty on the front is a three. So I need a seven. And then eights on the rear. Ah, no hits. So here goes the first fortune. We'll donate it to this little fisherman's home over here. <laughs> All right, so try that one more time. All right, so I got one hit. I'll take it. Okay, and so because it's light guns, it's two extra dice you roll. If it was a medium or heavy, does that change how many dice you roll after you hit? Yes. So mediums will roll one more, and then heavy one more on top of that. Okay. So, so I've got two extra hits. That that was at the rear section because it was the white dice. Ooh, so I got two more hits, and they're tens. Anytime you roll one or more tens, mm -hmm. uh, a natural ten, on this you get to roll a lucky hit which is basically you roll on the crit chart with a minus one on the die roll so i've got so he's going to take three damage to his hole mm -hmm. so we'll start there and then i'll go ahead and roll the the effect while you have your card there mm -hmm. so i've got a six minus one is five so that is a leak oh a leak is a fun is a fun one okay so he's going to put a leak marker on there you can also mark it on the so card right here so now, this is the back or the front? That was the back. Yeah. Okay. So now his ship is taking a leak. He's taking on water. So what he has to do now is he has to attempt a repair action at some point during his turn to try to repair the leak. As long as he tries to repair the leak, the guys are on the pumps. It won't get any worse. If he ignores it, then there's a chance at the end of the turn on a 7+, plus, he'll gain another leak on the other deck. Mm -hmm. If you ever have more decks than leaks, your ship is sinking. Do you mean more leaks than decks? More leaks than decks. There we yeah, go. that's proper proper English there. Okay, so so now now that's done. I'm gonna mark my reloads. Mm -hmm. So since I didn't actually activate any of those units, I used the command point. They all have full reload markers. So they all have four. So now now John did take three hits back there. I think he's got two units. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you've got to take saves. You got to split them between them. All right. Two on so one and one on the other. Two on the freebooters. So I need a six. And I'm good. I love it. All right. And one on the militia. I need a seven. And they're you good. Nice. Those guys dodge cannonballs all day. All right. Mm -hmm. So five for the freebooters. They're good. Five for the militia. Nope. No, they take one. All right. Getting there. Little by little. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's going to do it. Oh, no. I, I almost forgot. I've got my sailors there as well. <laughs> I mean, my uh, marineros that are with the commander. So they're going to go ahead. And now that they're fatigued, we're going to take a shot. Not that makes a difference. I still need a 10 because of the range. So I'll just take a half shot so I don't waste too much, too much good shots there. Mm -hmm. So I've got six models there. So I'm going to take three shots, needing 10s. Nothing. Okay. Nothing? Nothing at all. So I take one reload marker on, the, on that unit. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put it right here next to them. All right. So over to you, John. Get this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will. Hmm. Just gonna keep going straight. Three, four. There's only so much water to go through. It's mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, if I, if I cut you off, then something might happen. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna activate my militia in the front, and I'm just gonna take a half shot. 
So that's four guys. Um, Where are you shooting? I will shoot. You've got. They're both. They're all about the same. All about the same. Yeah. I'll shoot the middle deck. Okay. So that's a penalty of three. Yep. So I need a ten. No. And uh, no. So I'm just going to. I'll take one reload. But I'm going to reload it again. Mm -hmm. So I'm good. All right. So next card. Right in tight, gents. All right, I got a four right. of diamonds. Okay. Spades again. I've got a spade again. So I'm going to give this spade to my marineros right here, because mm -hmm. they've got the gun crew special rule, mm -hmm. which means that I get a free reload action on artillery. So I've also got my one action, so that's going to take two reloads off those two guns. Mm. Clever. This is shifted a little bit here. And this is just from the front deck? That is just from the middle deck right there. Oh, sorry. So. And that was there, sorry. So I took two reloads off there, mm -hmm. and um, and that is the, so I've got, yeah. I got two reloads off there, so that's my activation. Cool. Oh. All right. On to John again. So mm -hmm. I'm going to activate my freebooters this time with my commander. Mm -hmm. Can't move your ship yet. Oh, yeah. This is my, this is your second move. So this is my for third move. The all right, let me get this straight so I have it inside my own head. Yeah. You move always on your first activation of the round. Right. You always move on your last, right. and then you can pick any one of the ones in between. Which yeah. we've both already done. So we've yeah. both done our first two, so the last one's always going to be in the last activation. Mm. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to use a command point from my captain and mm -hmm. take off a reload. Mm -hmm. So I'm down to one on each. So it's worth noting that the English Sea Dogs there mm. have expert gun crew. So when they reload, they get the free reload not only on a spade but also on a heart. Ah. So I'm just going to take pot shots with my freebooters. I have six. Mm -hmm. So three, six. Let's see if this will make a difference. I'm going to shoot a cannon crew again. So it's over 16 plus four. So yeah, I'll just shoot. Need ten. Uh, nope. Nothing. Bunch of nines. Close, but nothing. Nothing but musket smoke. All right. And then I'm just going to end up doing a double reload because I'm going to use my second command point to reload myself one more time. Sounds good. All right. So that takes us to the last card. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got a spade. Versus a heart. Yep. All right. So I'm going okay. first. I am going to try. I'm going to try to. Repair that leak. Might as well. You need a seven, right? So you have one action. Yep, you need a seven. All right, seven or better. Come on. No. no. The leak remains, but he doesn't have to check because his guys were fixing it, pumping the water out. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna no th chance of getting I'm going to throw a fortune point. Oh, See if wow. I can do any fortune better. Fortune point into that. Yeah, yeah he yes. got it. So the leak Repair is the fixed. Leak. Mm. They've stuffed something in there and the water's no longer coming. Okum and tar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to move over a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to... Keep, keep going, going straight. straight. That's good. All right, go ahead. You're just setting yourself up for the rake. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's my go here. Mm -hmm. And all I've got left is the Lanceros, who don't shoot. So we're just going to move the ship first, just to get it out of the way, lest I forget. So I'll move forward now. I'll turn first. So I'll do a three-inch turn, as that's my maximum. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'll move forward one inch. All right, so this my Lanceros. It's a little dangerous looking here. My Lanceros have two actions, so they'll knock two reload markers mm -hmm. off of the cannon there. All right. Okay. All right, and that's turn one. So. All right, well, uh, I'll tell you what, let's take a moment, we'll tidy up, and we'll be right back. Sounds good. Okay, on to round two. Uh, things are looking a little dicey here. You guys are, you know, it looks as if you're, if you go first, you're going to go forward and going to get rammed, maybe. I, well, I'm not so concerned about ramming anything what i'm more concerned about is i took a little bit of a risky maneuver here mm -hmm. so if john goes first he can sail right ahead of me and as he's got one reload marker only he can give me a nice a nice uh, bow rake Ooh. which is going to do lots of damage so and actually what i'm going to end up doing is i don't like this hand i think i could do a little better <laughs> so i'm going to spend the fortune coin and draw a new one uh so you don't get the the mulligan is not a special character that is a that is for the buccaneers that uh. represents their expert intelligence gathering Got it. All right. 
So I'm a little happier with this handle. Let's see if I can do this. All right, okay. let's see if this is high enough. You ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, you got me. Got so, that's that gonna... so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You will see a rake. So let me get the turn. All right. So I'm going to go forward three, and I so, think I got it. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you got it. So as you can see now, he has crossed the T. Mm -hmm. And he will be firing at me bout a stern. So, so, and very close. Since I played the spade also, mm -hmm. I get a free reload. So mm -hmm. I take that off. <laughs> so now I'm ready to shoot. Lovely. So he's got a range penalty of only one. Mm -hmm. And my fortitude is still four. So it's five. So he's looking for fives on three light guns. All right, so five or better. Works. And... So that's two. Two. Eh, I'm happy with that. All right, so he's going to roll four more dice, two for each of the hits. Mm-hmm. Looking for fives again. And that's good. Right. And, and a natural so 10. So, when you're getting raked, <laughs> mm -hmm. every hit counts for two hits. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. So you just did ten points of damage to me. So I marked that. Let's get your stupid dice out of the way. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's lots of heavy damage. Yeah. So let's go ahead and handle what happens on the card first, then we'll get to the damage on the crew. So, my whole fortitude is four. It's three now, but when he hit me, it was four, and that's what matters. So, if you ever double the fortitude in damage, which mm -hmm. he did, he got ten, which is definitely double four, um, that's a critical hit. So he gets to roll on the critical table with no penalty. He also got a lucky hit with the ten, so he's going to get to do both. So which one's which? All right, so white will be the... Regular critical, black will be the lucky critical. All right. So a five and a six. Five and a seven. Right. But that goes down to a six. Ah, so, yes. So so, um, so six is a gun. I have no guns there, but it does go across, so I will lose a gun from the next closest section. Mm -hmm. So I lose that gun right there. And Let's put it on our fort. <laughs> yeah. And a five is a leak. So I take a leak at the closest deck, which is the four deck there. Mm -hmm. So that was no good. Now, this is the only time you could ever roll a catastrophic damage. A catastrophic damage will give me an automatic strike point. Um, anytime I take that, it gives me an automatic leak as well. And then he gets to roll another crit. So mm. I got lucky, at least he didn't roll that. <laughs> so now let's apply those 10 hits to my crew. So as the ball is going all the way down, I have to apply the hits as evenly as possible across all the units. So that means I got to put... Let's see, two, four, six, eight, and then nine and, and then ten. Nine and ten. So I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put three here, three here, and then two on each of the rear deck. Okay. So this is a bit fierce. Yeah, so I've got three saves on these guys, they need a seven. Hey, look at that, they only lose one. That could have been much worse. Mm -hmm. So they take one casualty there. Now we go to our sailors. In the boat. Oh, in the boat, sorry. Well, that was a one, three, and an eight. So they're going to take two casualties. Leave that there. All right, so now back here. So the milicianos there. They both save. And the lanceros. They need a five. That was a two. So they take one casualty. So, no, leave that there. So now we got to do all of our resolve tests. Every unit got hit, so every unit has a test. So these guys need to take two resolve tests. They resolve the six. So they're good. These guys took two casualties. They need to test three. Their resolve is a five. So they take one fatigue. And the Lanceros took two hits. Or took one casualty, so they got to roll two dice. Their resolve is a five, so they're good. And finally, the commander's unit of Milicianos didn't take any casualties, so just one. And they passed, needing a six. And they got a ten. So... That was fairly fierce. Yeah. So I'm just going to reload my cannons <clears throat> since I shot again. Mm -hmm. So destroying that one cannon was very unfortunate for me. As my plan here now is to switch broadsides and fire the clean side at him. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be a little less effective now as I'm down one gun. So with my card, I'm going to go ahead and just take my move right away. I'm going to move three. And I really wish I could have got that, that extra turn there. 
unfortunately no such luck and move there so what i think i'll do now is let's go ahead and try to put some suppression on him now that i'm close mm. so i will fatigue myself there on the four deck i'm going to activate these milicianos mm. to reload and fire so i've got two four six eight guys left so it's two four six eight point blank less than four for sure so all i need is a seven uh, fortunately, I don't get to get my ruthless since I fatigued myself. But oh, yeah. so we're looking for sevens. Not bad. So one, two, three, four hits. All right. Ouch. So I'm gonna take two on the freebooters. Just save as a six because of the cover, and I, one dies. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. And the militia save was a seven. There we go. Hmm. I will. You got one left. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll let him die. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Two Not over bad. here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to take three fatigue tests on the militia. There are five. Nope. They're fine. Hey, they didn't care about that at all. And two on the freebooters. There's a five as well. And they take one. So let me get back here. So both units on the back have one fatigue. Mm -hmm. These guys over here. All right, so next cards. <clears throat> Let's go. All right. And so flip it. Oh, I got a heart. So he's going to go first. Mm -hmm. So we're already in close range. I unloaded all my cannons. And you are within three inches. So I'm going to go all out. Already? You're going to try to grapple me already? Already. I mean, that's what oh, pirate hunters all right, do. All right, we're going for a boarding action? <laughs> we're going for a boarding action. Okay, cool. So all I need to do is be within three inches, <coughs> which I am. I'm going to activate my commander right over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have to grapple. So grappling is just one dice. Mm -hmm. I need a five or better. Okay. In the boat. Come on, don't fail me now. And it's an action to do so. Boom! And got a five I got exactly. it. So he's the smaller boat, so he's gonna pull himself toward me. Move your markers to the back there. Or put him in your deck. That makes more sense. So he's gonna go right there. Uh huh. So he just goes right toward me. So. So now we're grappled. That's his action. So now mm -hmm. our. Because our two structures are connected, he can take move actions anywhere where there's at least an inch. Mm -hmm. So, wherever there's move actions or an option, he can take charge. So, that was one action. For my second action, I'm not even going to do that yet. I'm going to go straight into command points. Right. So, I'm going to command point my sailors. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to let my, my militia do it. <laughs> well, you already unloaded your weapon. So, yeah, my militia are going to go in and attack your front deck right here. They're going to charge. Right. Mm -hmm. So now when you charge, when you do a boarding action, whenever you're, attack, whenever you're attacking into a structure, you only move one model from your unit into the section that the unit's occupying. That's mm -hmm. to show that there's an active boarding happening. They're, they're trying to fight their way across. Mm -hmm. All right. So I got six guys left for my militia unit, and I need sixes. Mm -hmm. And I got, you got three hits. Three. Not bad. So my milicianos save on a six. Uh -huh. So let's see what they can do. Ooh, so four, five, seven. Uh, that'll take, give me two casualties. You know, I'll take a reroll on that. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can do better. We'll donate this back to the fishing village over here. <laughs> there yeah. we go. All three save. I knew I could do better. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, so one resolve test. Uh -huh. Ah, I failed that, though. All right, so they're down to two fatigue. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so now I'm going to do my second command point and make my sailors jump into the front and uh, the middle deck right here. Mm -hmm. so what are you going to do? So I am going to fatigue myself and take the defensive, uh, the defensive fire. So my shoot's a seven, the pistol penalty is one, so I'm going to need eights. And I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Now I know those guys have hard chargers, so I don't want to deal with that. Let me put my reload on there also. Oh, and I forgot about my hard chargers, but I don't even know if I hit Oh, five. yeah, you didn't use it on them. I don't think you did. Ooh. All right, so. One more there, so that's one, two, three. Three saves. So three hits. Mm -hmm. Their saves are seven, so they're going to save on a six here. Six are better. There we and... go. Two drop. I will use my last, actually. Yeah, I believe you can. Oh, you can fail all three. Go ahead and use it. <laughs> don't I need a six? Mm -hmm. Do I risk it? I need to take three. Just so you know, if you do it, you're going to fail all three. No, so I'm okay, okay with that. I'll let two get out. <laughs> so two are dead. I'm going to roll 
three dice for my fatigue test. Now, mm -hmm. I was going to use my fortune coin, but I think it's better spent on this. I don't want my guys to get fatigued. Like and that? you see, that's that's <laughs> why I saved it. But now you're going to fail all three. Come on, jump back to your ship. No, no, no. Fear the Spaniard. And I passed all of them. Nah. So it was worth it. Ooh. Six, nine, <laughs> and ten. All right. So now I have eight guys charging into combat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my pistols in close combat. Of course you are. So I got two, four, six, eight guys. I needed six normally, but mm -hmm. now I'm going to need a five because of hard chargers. And I get to reroll it. And sea dogs are amazing. On tens, I get an extra dice because of brawlers. So he's so looking for fours. See. So I got one, two. Damn. So at least oh, I need a, no, I need fives. Right? No, because you have hard chargers. But they're, they're, no. Oh, you're right, six. you need a fives. Yeah, yeah I need fives. So I got four hits, mm -hmm. and I got four misses. So I need fours again, because I'm re-rolling, because I'm using my pistols. And two more. I got two Oof. more. So you got six hits. Don't forget to put your reload marker down there. Yep. All right. So six hits with my sea dogs. All right. So my marineros, they have a save of a seven. They don't like getting hit that much. So let's see what they can do. Oh, that's very nice. horrible. So, so just don't even I waste your fortune. Do you have one more? I have one more. <laughs> to the fishing village with you. All right. Let's try that again. Yeah. Go for it. All right. That is exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take five casualties. Ow. Nice. Lots of death. Yeah, that's probably not going to work well. All right, so that'll be six. Sorry, keep doing that. That's six resolve tests. Looking for fives. Look Damn, at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Those guys are that fearless. The guys who are left, <laughs> they know what they're doing. So now I am taking a strike point, though, mm. for now, for casualties. Nine. We're both at nine models for a strike test. Yeah. yeah. So, um, are you done? Are you done wasting my time? Nope, I'm no. still not done. Now my captain still has one more action, mm -hmm. and he's going to jump into the fray over here. And so he's going to join that fight as well. Mm-hmm. Look at him, put the commander so himself there leading the charge. Four, six, four, five, six. Yep, I got six guys. And I'm going to unload my pistols as well because these guys have sidearm pistols and my commander has a pistol. All right, so mark your pistols. Okay, so unload So don't forget pistols. your. So they're hitting on fives now. Yep, because your faction fives. gives you hard charges. Mm -hmm. Fives re rolling. And so I missed three. Three. Get to re-roll it. And I got one more, so four dice. Alright, so here we go. So I save all but one. I needed sixes there. So I take oh, one horrible. casualty. All I need you is to run. Just, just run away. Run yeah. to the back of your ship. They're good. Okay, and so they, they do. do take a fatigue. So now they can run over here. Oh no, you have a unit there. No, you can still. Yeah, so no, they don't. So, because, now, I can't run here, because there's an enemy unit here. Mm -hmm. I, can't go, I can't go prone, because I'm in combat. So essentially, he's cornered me in there, and that unit surrenders. So he's wiped them out, because they have nowhere to go. Alright, so what, do they just go, nope, hell with this, dive over the side? They, they could do that, maybe they just surrender and hope for, hope for some quarter. Probably not going to get it from the English pirate hunters. I mean, there's land um, right there, I'll just jump over the side and swim it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not that far. A, but you know how water is in Blood and Plunder, it's probably full of dangerous things. So, now I've lost that unit, so they all come up, oops. So now, he can move all those, all those units into that section, right. if he so desires. If you're playing a big enough game, can you actually steal ships from your opponent? Oh, of yep. course, yes. It so that's very the, fun. The, <laughs> so the, the ships are not faction specific? Nope. No, they are not. Right, do you have to take a moment to actually change the flags on top? You don't, you can keep flying. There's, you know, you want to leave the false flag up there, hopefully you can conf confuse someone, right? <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's a friendly ship, and then you get boarded. <laughs> so I'm going to move both of my units, because I think I have them cornered. Right. Okay. So now, so whenever you're playing with ships, you're adding some new strike point options. So mm -hmm. anytime a deck on one of your ships is occupied by the, by the enemy force and none of your units, that's a strike point. Ah. So... Uh, at this point right now, at the end of the turn, I'm going to have to take a strike test, mm -hmm. as I don't think I've knocked out nine of his. Uh, no, we've got it, five. Even if, even if I did, it doesn't matter. 
He's got 18 of my guys down, which is two strike points, and he's controlling a section on my ship. So that's going to now be three strike points for me and zero for him. But we're not, over, we're not done with the turn yet. So, And he went first this round, so I've still got my activation. Yep. Which we're going to go ahead and take advantage of best we can. Let's see if I can get these guys to come and save the day. So, I've got two actions of my command unit. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to have them reload and fire into this deck section right here. So, hope for luck. Go up to two. Now, because they're not engaged with anybody, they can still shoot across and mm -hmm. do all that good stuff. Now, the unit that's over here is considered engaged there, so I can't hit them. Mm -hmm. I'm only hitting this militia over here. Okay. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. And then the commander's pistol. So that's a point blank. So I'm looking at seven for my muskets and eight for the pistol. You got the pistol. Uh, I, yeah. So that's um, four. Four hits. Not bad. All right. So I got four saves. Mm -hmm. Militia save is in seven because of cover. And two I get two. Die. So two die. I've got to take my three fatigue test on a five. Come on, you guys have been doing good so far. And yep, they only take one. One is good enough for me. I will take it. So now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to order my commander to have the Lanceros charge down here. Oh, I see where you're going. So that's one command point there. So they're going to move down. Well, they'd only move one guy because technically mm -hmm. that's still an active melee. I forgot he's got a guy in there. So only one guy moves in there. So, so my Lanceros are now going to charge that unit of Sea Dogs, and I've got two, four, five of them left. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, they have no fatigue. Nope, no how, fatigue. How unfortunate. All right, so I'm looking for fives. They're melee still. So that's three hits. All right, so three. my Sea Dog save is a six, but it goes up to a seven since he charged with Lancers. Right. And three died. Knock him out. Get him out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, hopefully, if he becomes shaken, he's got to run back to his ship. So I'll take that section back. So give me a fighting chance to take that back. Three. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely at nine casualties now. So if I can take that deck back, I have a chance here. Come on, Let's guys. Go. Stay fearless. And they uh, do. <laughs> lucky, lucky. All right. So I still got two sailors in there mm -hmm. who are going to go ahead. And with my other command point, they're going to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get some extra casualties. So I've got one hit. So their their main list goes to five, six. No nope. good. And one resolve test. And I take one fatigue there finally. So at least at least it's building. <laughs> so unfortunately, next time the lanceros have not activated yet. Neither have the sailors. So they can fight later in the round, as that was all through command points. So I was hoping to be able to charge these guys, but now it looks like they're going to join the fray from that side, which is going to make things interesting for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Cards. Cards. Turn three. All right, you I'm got the heart. Go ahead. Okay. Turn two still. So, I'm going to go first. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to activate the Lanceros. And they are going to go ahead and strike again. So, now, my Ruthless is going off. So, this is with the Sailors. I make sure it's back over here. So, now I'm hitting on fours. So, four hits. Four. All right. So he did not charge this turn. It's an ongoing combat. So now my save goes back to a six. Mm -hmm. And mm, three die. Nice. Ouch. They've been holding their own, so I'm proud of them. So that's a large number of them. So I have two left. Mm -hmm. So I got to roll. Fatigue test. Come on, guys. Stay alive. There you and go. And they take three. three. Two. So, oh, so they take two, enough, but they're right? up to three. But they're up to three. Right? So they do have to run back. So he goes back to his ship. And how many models do you have there left? Two. two. Ooh, so one more would have finished you. They're fine. They're fine. They're just <laughs> they're resting from that slaughter, you know. All right. So now my lanceros are going to go ahead and take an action or take their consolidation move to mm -hmm. occupy this deck now that they've wiped the enemy out of it. So now if he tries to charge down there, mm -hmm. which I have a feeling he'll probably shoot instead, he's got to face the pikes. Yep. All, All right. right. So now with my activation, I'm going to activate these militiamen in the back because they still haven't used their guns. As I anticipated. Yep. <laughs> so I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven. No, no six. six. Six guys left. Mm -hmm. Three, six. Point blank range. Do I want to risk it? So you're looking for sevens there. You can, you can I'm gonna do a drilled it. action. I'm going to do a drilled action. Would, I, would that stop me from charging now if I do a drilled action? Yes, because it's a dedicated action. Mm, nah, so it's all I you think... do. A dedicated action, it's one thing, that's all you do. But every additional action gives you a bonus mm. to your target number. I'm just going to shoot. Need sevens. And I got three. two. Two hits. So I'm saving on a five there. Mm -hmm. So let's see. So there's two units there, so you're going oh, to have to pick and choose. So, so the sailors, they save. They need a six. And the lanceros, they save also. So fatigue for the lanceros needing a five. Yep. And for the sailors needing a six, uh, five also. No. And they become shaken. So I am going to have the sailors fall back. Okay. So they become shaken. And they're going to fall back to the quarter deck. Okay. So how many lanceros? You have five lanceros. You know what? I'm going to risk it. This is all it? or nothing. I'm oh, going right. to charge into you. Thank you. Thank you for the free attack. So I'm going to fatigue them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to basically make a pike defense there. And I'm going to roll five dice. Are you fatigued by any chance? Yes, you are. I have one, but you, you go up one. Oh, so yeah, fine. I have to fatigue them. So you're good. Okay. So I need five. And that's Ooh. five hits. Maybe it, wasn't, <laughs> maybe it wasn't worth it, but who knows. No, I don't get that charge bonus because he's just walking into me. So. He still saves on his normal, what is it, seven for them? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, seven. Seven or better. Come on, guys. Ooh, three, go down. Three die. Ouch. That's a free blue. Ouch. One, two, three. So I have two, three guys left. But you got to take that resolve test first. I think they could pass it. I don't think they can. I don't think they've got it in them. So four. Come on, guys. And they do. They pass they all but one. one. I'm going to be at two fatigue, but that's still good enough to charge. And he does get his hard chargers. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. These guys jump down here. There we go. There you, can, you can put them right there. Made a little space for you. Nice. Yeah. All right. So three guys, hard chargers. So I need a five. Five or better. Ooh, and nice. Three hits. All right. So my defense is seven. Yep. Let's see if I can pull this off. Ooh, so two dead. you got two. So that's going to be three Lanceros are nothing. They're nothing to me. Come on, I'm pirate hunters. You're, you're the pirates in these parts. Nobody here is a pirate, so I'll have you know. You're the pirate. All <laughs> right, so I lose. Uh, so I take one fatigue, that is. Sorry. So I'm up to two fatigue, and I'm down two models. Nice. Ouch. Lots of death. <laughs> yeah. God, you really are brutal at this game, man. <laughs> <laughs> I take no prisoners. Never. Never any prisoners. I just want your ship and your gold. That's it. <laughs> okay. Your ship and your cargo. Yep. <laughs> Wrong marker. There we go. Okay, so we're on to the next card. All right, last card. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't really do much for me, unfortunately. So I'm going to go first. Uh -huh. And I'm going to rally the Marineros, as that's all they can do. They have three fatigue, so I'm looking for fives. And uh, it takes me down two. to one. All right, so John, all right. have at it. I'm going to finish off those Lanceros, my crew right here. They're going to jump in. Yeah, so unfortunately, I have two fatigue, so I cannot defensive attack again. And you're already engaged in the combat, so you wouldn't be able that's, to anyway. That's true, I forgot. Yeah. So there's that as well. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Six guys, hard chargers, so I need five. Finish off those Lanceros, guys. <laughs> ah, no. I know. Dice has finally gone cold. Ah, welcome to the world of white dice, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> hey, they've been doing pretty good for me so far, so I don't know. Not as good as the last time you had these dice. I'm glad <laughs> I took these from you. All right. So that's the end of turn two. Yeah. Uh, one problem. Mm -hmm. You didn't take a repair action the entire turn. No, I didn't. But that's okay, because he's on my ship now. But I do have to test that. So, now that we're at the end of turn two, there's a few things that have to happen. Okay. So, he's still occupying a section of my ship. Uh-huh. Now, I don't think I've gotten 18 casualties on you, have I? Nope. No. One, Count two, three, sure. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hey, you're pretty close. How much, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Ooh, that was two away. All right. So I do have to take a strike test now because he's got one strike point and I have three because he's occupying one of my decks and I've taken over 18 casualties. Mm -hmm. So but first let's roll and see if that leak spreads. It does. So the ship takes an additional leak so we'll put the next one there. 
Uh -huh. So I'm going to come over here and mark that there as well, just to make sure we don't forget. Mm -hmm. I might just right. repair your own boat, so you know I could <laughs> take it later. Man, this thing's a fixer upper, but we'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now I have no command. I have no uh, fortune points left, mm. and I've got to take a strike test on my commander on his unit's resolve, which is a six. Mm. So here's my one shot at staying in this fight, and there it is, the ten. So my men have the resolve to keep fighting. So we're going to go into turn three. Perhaps your commander has his family down beneath. Huh? It could be. It's very possible. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, I'll tell you what. I think we've have we covered everything for the ship battles. We've pretty much covered everything. Mm. We didn't get to cover any ship maneuvers, but it's pretty straightforward. Mm. Essentially, I, I will just go over it quickly. Yeah, yeah. We can, go we can over just it separate this here. Yeah. So say, as we know, the wind's coming from this way. So say my brigantine is sailing right on the edge of the wind here. Mm -hmm. And I need to come across to turn around. Yeah. Right. So I've got a few options. I can just, so let's say I take a three inch turn, let's say my sails are set to three, right? Mm -hmm. So now I'm right in the eye of the wind. So next time this ship activates, it can take no forward movement as it's pointing right into the wind. Mm -hmm. So my options are A, let it drift. And when you drift, you're basically going to take a backwards turn away from the wind. And you're going to basically keep doing that. So I'd be on this side. You're going to keep doing that until you're out of the wind's eye. So you're kind of just drifting about and you go backwards at the one inch or whatever the wind speed is. If it's higher, you go two inches. Mm -hmm. So I can do that until I'm out. Sometimes a faster ship like the sloop, you can move four, turn right into the wind and then the wind, you're told, it's always going to push you downwind. Mm -hmm. So you just come right out of it with uh, one so you drift. Try and cut it a little quicker. Right. Gotcha. Now, otherwise being here, I have two maneuvers I can try. Maneuvers are dedicated action. They're advanced sailing maneuvers is what we call them. They're dedicated action. And what you can do with those is you can either you can either tack or you can box haul. So box hauling basically is while I'm here, I pick one unit, they take a sailing test. A sailing test is always on a seven plus, mm -hmm. five plus if the unit has the sailor special rule. And it's dedicated so every extra action you put into it makes it more likely to go off. Mm -hmm. So then you roll die. If it goes off, then you perform the maneuver. If it fails, you roll a lucky hit against the rigging because of all the pressure of everything getting pushed around in the rigging there. So mm -hmm. If you box haul, you essentially sail backwards. So I can sail straight backwards and I can keep doing that until I fail it. Mm. And or I can do a backwards turn so I can do like this and go backwards like that, ah. which is a great way to flip broadsides on somebody if you're sailing upwind. So if you had the other broadside exposed, you can go upwind, mm. turn back the other way and now your other broadside showing. Uh, but you're risking getting raked. Well, depending on where the ship is, yes. But <laughs> so uh, and if their cannons are loaded, if you know they're loading their guns, you can kind of work on that. So, mm -hmm. so the other option is to tack. An attack is basically just you get to turn up to three inches, mm -hmm. no more, and it takes you right across the wind, Got assuming it. you have at least three inches of movement available. Mm. And that's it. Well, I, I have to say, I love the look of the ship battles in this. Actually mm -hmm. seeing John being able to come across and actually mm -hmm. hook into you drawing and actually seeing ship to ship fighting, really, really interesting. Uh, I think we'll call it at that, guys. Drop your comments in below. Are you looking forward to some high seas adventures in the world of blood and plunder? We'll move on. We will see you in the next one. Hi, everyone. We hope you're enjoying this same week. Make sure you don't miss any of it by checking out the playlist. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to ding our dong so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, come across and join us on beastofwar.com for more great gaming content and a fantastic community. Also, keep your comments in for your chance to win.